Hello. In this lesson, we will learn about the properties resource priority and multi transporting in process modeling. In this tutorial, I will use the core and open layout. And if you want to know how to create process modeling layouts, please go to our academy in academy.visualcomponents.com and then go to the course Introduction to Process Modeling. There you will learn more stuff how to create a process modeling layout. But now let's go to Process tab and click on Processes. Let's see what processes do we have. So we have two feeder processes and then three manual processes. The aim is to pick up the parts from the feeders and then take them to manual process. If I click on flow, you can see that on the flow editor nothing exists. So I'm gonna click on the feeder labor, choose the controller icon, and then click on manual process label. Then when you press play, mobile robots start to do the job automatically. As you can see, everything is quickly created and very much visually. How great is that, right? Now, if I just deactivate the flow and click on the mobile robot controller, you can see these two properties, resource priority and then a strategy under this component. And this is what we will talk about in this coming minutes. So the resource priority has three options, none, nearest, and least utilized. So none will basically choose for the feeder a resource randomly. Nearest will choose the nearest resource to the feeder or to the pickup point. And then least utilized will use the least utilized resource, as is clear from the name, to go and take the part or do a process there when it's needed. So now here you could see that this mobile robot came to pick up the part. Let's do a quick test. So for example, if I press play now, this mobile robot was closer to the feeder, so it went there. But if I place it a little bit further, then this guy, and if I press play, you can see that our mobile robot went to the other feeder because it was closer to there. Because the resource priority property was set to nearest. And then we have the other property strategy. Strategy is defining for us, do we want to take one part from here to the destination? Or do we want to take from one process to many destinations or from Many feeders, for example, here and here, we collect parts and then take them to destinations. Or then from many feeders, we collect parts and take them to many manual processes. Let's, for example, try one to many. And if I click on one of the mobile robots under the transport tab in the component properties, you can see that there is a last in first out property and it means that the last part that came in on the mobile robot up here will go out first and then if i deactivate it it will be first in first out and the capacity at the moment for this mobile robot is two parts and then product type you can set it to any, or you can add a new product type so that this mobile robot will take only a specific product type. There is transport location, and then there is the pattern. So if I set the pattern to two, and then set a Y for pattern step to be 350, here I need to set this transport location also to minus 200. So you can see at the moment that we have four places for the parts here, but of course the capacity is just two. And if you recall, 
I changed our strategy to be from one feeder to take to many destinations or work processes. Before this, I, what I'm going to do is to deactivate this mobile robot. So only this dude will work for us. Let's press play. So he went there because he got an order first from there. So he takes two parts in, as you can see. And yes, there we have one part delivered and then the other. So this concludes this lesson. Thank you for watching. Give it a try. Try it by yourself. And then if you want to open up discussions, please go to forum.visualcomponents.com. And this was Reza. Hope you enjoyed and bye for now.